This brief presentation provides information to students and families that was shared at our St. Mary's County Public Schools Freshman Orientation Nights for the class of 2018. Our objectives are as follows. Through the presentation, we will provide students and families with information and an overview on high school graduation requirements, an overview of the 2014-2015 course selection process, and an overview of signature pathways for our rising ninth grade students. It's all about the next four years. As you complete your eighth grade year, you will be making decisions about your courses of study and the classes you will take on your path to graduation. In St. Mary's County Public Schools, our mission guides our work in supporting students. It is to know the learner and the learning, expecting excellence in both, accept no excuses, educating all with rigor, relevance, respect, and positive relationships. So what does this look like? We know our learners. From the state, we have the state assessment data that helps to inform us on student progress and student proficiencies. We have information from our county benchmarks and end of course exams that are in our data warehouse and available on the Home Access Center for Parents. From our middle schools, we have grades, attendance, and teacher recommendations, again, all of which is available on student transcripts and student information in the Home Access Center. What do we know about learning? We know that students need 21 graduate credits to graduate from high school in the state of Maryland. We know that students must complete a completer pathway to be successful, and I'll share more on that in just a moment. And we know that a pathway must be chosen for students that is of high interest and is also highly individualized. And we expect excellence. We know that excellence comes from engaged students in rigorous classes. We know that engagement comes from authentic learning, with the students believing in the relevance of their work. We also know that choice is the single greatest factor in motivating students. If they feel they're directing their own learning, they will be invested, and they will be successful. For most of you, you will take courses in our comprehensive high school program, which includes all of the courses needed for high school graduation and elective courses to suit your interest. Some of you about 10 to 15 percent of the class of 2018, may elect to apply to one of our signature pathways focused on a particular area of interest or proficiency. The STEM Academy is designed with a focus on science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and it is housed at Great Mills High School. The Academy of Finance offers students with an opportunity to build a portfolio of skills in understanding their interests in business and finance. That academy is at Chopticon High School. The Fairlead Academy provides an instructional program for students who may have struggled academically in middle school in a, and they are placed in a supportive environment designed to transition students to high school. The Global and International Studies Program, or GIS, is housed at Leonardtown High School. This provides students with knowledge of world, regions, cultures, and global and international issues. And new this year, is the Academy of Visual and Performing Arts that will be available to ninth grade students. That academy is housed at Chopticon High School. In addition, following your ninth grade year, you may wish to consider one of the 24 pathways for college and career readiness at the Dr. James A. Forrest Career and Technology Center. That's a lot to take in, and the first step may be to think with the end in mind, graduation. So let's take a look at what the state of Maryland requires for graduation. To earn a Maryland high school diploma, students must earn 21 credits. That includes four credits in English, three credits of social studies, three credits of mathematics, three credits of science, one credit of physical education and health, one credit of technology, and one in fine arts. That brings your core credit total to 16, you also then have five additional elective and completer program requirements. With seven academic periods per day over four years, most students will have the opportunity to earn 28 credits, which leaves a number of opportunities for electives and programs of choice. Further, to graduate, students must pass all of the high school assessments or earn a pass, passing combined score on the four assessments in English 10, Algebra, government, and biology. In addition, students must take a math class each year enrolled in high school. Also, 
students will complete a student service learning component, which is embedded into their instructional program in social studies. Next, students will compile a web-based career portfolio. Many of you have already taken had access to career cruising, which gets you on the path for this process. And then finally, students must complete a program completion requirement. As part of the graduation requirements, these completer programs require students to take a pathway in addition to their core academic requirements. Many of you will complete the university sequence. This requires 16 core academic credits, including four credits in mathematics to include Algebra 1, Algebra 2, and Geometry, as well as a non-trivial algebra course in your senior year. Students in this pathway will also have to complete two credits in a world language. And many of your courses in the university sequence, your core academic classes, will be in Certificate of Merit courses or above. This represents about half of the students who graduated last year. Other students may choose a career and technology completer sequence, which may be one of the many programs at the Forest Center or some of the CTE programs at the comprehensive high schools. This includes the 16 core academic courses, as well as four credits in an approved career and technology program sequence. This represents about one third or just over one third of students who graduated last year at 35%. So what about the other 15%? Some of you might be called what's a dual completer. That is that you have completed both the university sequence and the CTE sequence. You might have completed a career ready program in addition to college ready programs in the university sequence. So what are the choices you will make to conclude your eighth grade year? You will be determining your course requests for the school year 2014-2015. Our student information system allows students' current classroom teacher to make recommendations for next year's class. Essentially, this gives you and your teachers a list of potential courses that are the next ones in the sequence of your core areas. In math, for example, your grade 8 courses and your present level of performance may lead to one of several options. In English, there are several levels, levels of courses as well, including honors courses and English 990 course, which is a 90-minute block for students who have had challenges in reading in English. In science, most students will take Earth Space Science in their ninth grade year, though some students will take either Explorations in Science or Biology Honors, depending on your level of support needed or acceleration. In Social Studies, the U.S. History course in grade 9 is also differentiated by level, offering a standard course and a Certificate of Merit section. All in all, after all the courses are determined, you'll have the opportunity to determine your electives. Many of you will complete two of your high school graduation requirements in your freshman year, selecting Foundations of Technology and your Physical Education Health course. You may also select one of the World Languages courses or another elective in Arts or Junior ROTC. Talk with your school counselor about which courses are right for you. When you meet with your counselors, they will review the recommendations made by your teachers and submit them as course requests. This information is then provided to your high school to develop your course schedule. At the end of the session meeting with your counselors, counselors will print out a summary of each student's course requests. This will go home to parents for review. This process will ensure that each student has the appropriate grade level course requests. These requests will be entered into the student information system and be available for review by both middle school and high school counselors. This printout is not your schedule, but a list of recommended courses for scheduling in your ninth grade year. In these meetings, some of you may have additional considerations for scheduling. Students with individualized education plans or IEPs will have those course requests reviewed and finalized during their spring transition meetings. Students who have struggled in middle school will have course selections audited to make sure they have enrolled in the most beneficial and appropriate classes. And students accepted into the one of the signature academies will also be hand scheduled by the hosting high school after acceptances have been given. 
As not all programs are offered at every high school in St. Mary's County, for example, the ROTC programs are unique to Great Mills and Chopticon, special permission for those courses due to this course of study can be requested to attend either of those high schools by filling out a student transfer request form through Student Services. Building counselors can also assist with this process. So what's next? How can we guarantee your success as a ninth grader? First, you can guarantee your success by putting forth your best effort in eighth grade all the way to the end of the year. As many of you do, visit the Home Access Center weekly and take responsibility for your grades. Take advantage of all high school informational sessions that are coming in the spring, as well as looking into extracurricular activities and athletics that are available at each of the home high schools. Also, students you should work with your teachers and counselors to make sure that the most academically appropriate courses are selected after we're done this MSA testing season. And finally, be informed. For more information, you can visit our website at www.smcps.org and click on the R Schools tab. You could also learn more about each high school you're attending by visiting their web pages. And if you want to learn more about the academies, visit those pages as well. The academy page is also accessible under the R Schools tab on the home page. Here, there are videos about each of the Academy programs, as well as a brochure and the application to apply to each program. The Academy application is open until April 4th. If you want to learn about more about the programs of studies offered at each of the high schools, you can find the program of studies online. This document includes every course of study offered for high school students in St. Mary's County Public Schools. You may still have some questions that are unanswered. Talk to your school counselors, or you can email us at classof2018 at smcps.org. Thank you. And please remember to visit us at smcps.org to learn more about these exciting opportunities for the class of 2018, or email questions and comments to classof2018 at smcps.org. Thank you.